Hey there, Soul Shines. It's Michelle here. And I would like to invite you to hook that subscribe button. I think that's really fun to say, so it's going to be my new thing. Hook that subscribe button and like and comment. I love comments, so please do that. And let's get started on this is the mystery yarn challenge reveal. Only it's not really a mystery and it's not really a challenge. I mean, there's a challenge to it. But this month, for the mystery yarn challenge, I am doing a whip. This year, starting in 2024, um, Lori the Armchair Chef, and she'll be linked here and down below. I think I can link a channel here. If I can, she'll be linked there and down below. Always down below. Um, she will, I'm gonna change that. Always found down below in a mystery yarn challenge video. Um, she changed it this year to where we have four options for playing now. Um, one is the traditional option. It is the option that she had for over a year um, where you would say, hey, I want to play. And you would gather up yarn and send it to the person she gave you. And then somebody out there would be given your name and they'd send you yarn. And then the goal is to try to use at least a little bit of each yarn that you get in a project. I have done a lot of fun fun, cute projects with this, and I'm super excited to participate again next month. Um, it's been a bit of a challenge to not be getting yarn and giving yarn, honestly. I, it's such a fun part of things for me. But I needed to take February to really focus on a project because she gave two other op or three other options. One of them is say you have a lot of whips, but you also have a lot of yarn and you want to give your yarn away, but you don't really want to receive more yarn. You just want to work on things you already have going on. That is an option. And you can say, Hey, that's what I want to do. And she'd be like, okay. And then you tell her what project you're going to work on. And you, when you get it finished in the time frame, which she's so lenient on her time frames, but if you get it finished in the time frame, you get to say, hey, I finished it, and she counts it, and you get put into the final reveal video where she also, um, does she do them in the same video? I don't think she does them in the same video, but she'll do a final reveal of video, plus she'll do a drawing and do prizes um, if you're interested in that kind of thing. Some people actually have refused to get prizes, and that's okay. I just think it's fun to participate, but I also think it's fun to get prizes. Anyway, so she does that, and then she also um, has times like, say things are really hard, but you really want to play, and you're just like, I can't afford to send yarn, or you're in Canada, and you're the only one playing, and you can't send yarn. Well, Canada probably wouldn't receive it either, just that's hard. We need more people playing in Canada, please. Anyway, um, if, if for some reason sending yarn doesn't quite work, you know, there's going to be some leeway there. She's going to have some, you know, you're going to have some chats with her about it. But you can receive yarn and play and not send um, if you have some circumstances and stuff. Um, it would have allowed me to play um, one of the months last year if that had been a thing because... Uh, circumstances went really crazy. I expected to play and then things went crazy and I had to pull out, which was really hard. But um, so there could be circumstances in which you want to play, but for whatever reason you're having a hard month and that's an option. Uh, check out Lori to find out more. But the last option is where you don't send or receive any yarn. You just work on one of your whips. You tell Lori what you're working on and you make progress and you try to finish it in the time period. And that is what I have done. So I have been working on the Multivalence. It's an expression fiber arts pattern that came out last year. It was a mystery crochet along. So each month we got a new clue and I did really good until August. And then I was like, I have so many Christmas things so many projects going on I cannot get this done and so I did not work on it again until January and sometime in January I finished the um, September clue which left me October November and December and my goal for the mystery yarn challenge to participate in that was to finish all 12 
recluse, like to finish the blanket, to be done. And so that is what I've been working on. But keep in mind that this is like almost five feet now. I just measured it to know for sure and I am sitting right at 36, 37, somewhere around there, um, diameter. And when I did the math of 37, dia 37 diameter, it's 15 feet around. So that's what I'm crocheting around every time. So it, it's cool, it's just a lot. So there were three rounds in September and, no, sorry, October's clue. And it is this gorgeous blue that I chose. And so I did the three rounds, it's so pretty. And here we go, we've got, like I said, this is getting very, very big and it's very, very gorgeous. And it's very, very pretty. And so I finished it and I did bring my ball of yarn. Okay, um, I did not bring in the original skein. This is how much yarn I have left from that clue. I'm a little sad about how little there is left because it is really just a pretty color. I have loved this. But I did bring the thing. I wish I would have brought th one of the ones that I haven't touched yet so you could see how much it starts out with. But I did not bring that with me. So this is Yarn B Yarntopia. I've got my glasses here. Um, the color is Cerulean. It's this C E. R U C E R U L E A N, right? Yeah. Um, this starts out as a four ounce ball or skein with 312 yards, and that's what I have left. So, from three rounds, I'm mean, like, makes me nervous. Is there actually enough yarn in the next color to do? four rounds. I hope so. It says there should be, but... Um, so this is 100% acrylic, and oh my gosh, guys, this is the soft... This is so soft. Like, I would not have guessed. And, you know, if you come from... If you're older like me and you come from the 80s, uh, you're... You might remember that the idea of acrylic yarn ever being soft was like beyond crazy. I remember the first time I ever found Karen Simply Soft in the very, very beginning of the 90s and just be blown away at how soft it was because I'd never had a yarn like that. I was a crocheter and I was raised on value acrylic and that's all there was. And acrylic yarn back then was not much to sing about. And it's come a long ways. Our value acrylic, now even though I don't love Red Heart, even the Red Heart value acrylic is not the same as the acrylic of the 80s. But this, this is soft. So soft. I'm just, I'm in love. Um, so let me tell you a little more about this yarn. It starts four, started out as four ounces or 113 grams. 312 yards or, does that say 285? There's a wrinkle right in the middle. I think it says 285 meters, I'm not sure. It is a two weight. So even though this is big, um, it's not that heavy. You know, you'd expect it, a yarn thing to be pretty heavy when it's this big. And it's not that heavy because it's a two-weight yarn, so it's a lighter weight yarn. It's a thinner yarn, like, it's, it's a nice thin yarn. It's beautiful. I love this. I love it. And they call for a 3.25 millimeter knitting needles or, sorry about the dog in the background, 4.5 millimeter crochet hook. I don't know what that is. G. That's the big G. Like how G has two different things. 4.5 is the bigger G hook that it asks for. But anyway, this is what I have left of this color. The next color I think I'm going to be using is... I think it's going to be Cerulean C. 
so it's a lighter version of this I think or it might be the darker color that's more charcoal I'm not sure which I chose but I already picked the order and I just hope hope there's enough yarn Oh, for the next round. But anyway, that's it. This is part one of three because that is clue 10. The dog is really annoying me. Uh, the original finish line that Lori gave, I believe, was March 10th. Um, so hopefully I can finish the 11th clue, the November clue. Hopefully I can finish that really quickly over the next week, week and a half. Um, I really would love, today is the 16th that I'm recording this, putting it out on the 17th. I would really absolutely love to have the whole thing done by the end of February, but I do know I have that little bit into March that I can work on this. And finish this blanket up. It will be so lovely. And I've been weaving ends in as I go, so I just have one end that marks where the beginning of my round is. I hooked this on. Here because I've been using it both to keep my yarn from undoing but also so I can say okay this looks like about a third of it I'm gonna put my stitch marker here and my goal is to get that far this last round though I started it yesterday morning I did like half of it yesterday and the other half today it was a really fast round and I was really excited about it and so it's always nice when that happens. The first round in this clue, um, I had, you can see down here, it's got a stitch that goes down lower here. And that stitch really slowed down the progress around. So, <sighs> happy day. Happy day, it is practically done. It is gonna be so beautiful. Anyway, I wish me luck on getting this finished. And I will see you when Clue 11 is done with the Mystery Yarn Challenge Reveal Part 2. Um, and hopefully have the Reveal Part 3 really soon as well. Anyway, remember, let your light shine through your creations, whatever they be. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!